Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Leon with No More Lines. You're new to the channel, people sure to subscribe, leave a like and a comment, and watch the video to the very end. In this video, I'm going to be doing a demonstration in my review of Bright VPN. It's a free VPN service that I recently found, and I want to see if I can recommend it to my uh, subscribers and anybody that may be watching the video. The whole point of uh, using a VPN is to be able to access information uh, that may not be in a certain region. For example, you may be able to actually watch and have access to different things on Netflix that may not be accessible in your home region. Also, too, uh, one main thing that I've made on my channel is that I've done videos about how to redeem uh, Microsoft codes, Xbox codes, and get them at, at a cheaper rate. Basically, uh, arbitrage where you're basically taking into account different regions and the price differences. And if you're, um, if you're able to get that code or get something for cheaper than your home region, then you can take advantage of it. You do that by going to the redeem.microsoft.com website using one, one of the VPNs uh, in a particular region, and you'll be able to redeem the code. And then from there, you'll be able to add the code to your, micro, to your account. Memberships work, DLC works, and also games work. Uh, memberships are pretty straightforward. Pretty much, you just redeem it uh, normally because every uh, membership is actually global. So, for example, Xbox Live, Game Pass Ultimate, the code is region locked for that particular region, but the membership itself is a worldwide region. The games work a little different in that uh, you, you have to redeem the code on the Microsoft.com website, but you have to add the game to your actual uh, local store. And you don't have to do anything else to it. All you got to do is just add the game to, to the store and download it from there, and you'll be able to play it. So one big caveat is that you, you have to make sure that whatever game that you're trying to redeem, and it has to be the specific edition of that game, it has to be available in your local store for you to be able to download it. With all that being said, I'm going to be uh, testing six different regions. Turkey, UK, Brazil, Europe, Mexico, United States, and Argentina. And this video is going to be chopped up a little bit. I'm actually remoting to one of my uh, side computers, the computer that I'm, I'm not using right now. So I'm using a remote desktop connection. I'm going to have to actually um, go ahead and cut every time that I log into the VPNs. Just to answer a few questions, uh, this only works for Windows computers. It says that it works for uh, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, and Opera, and LG Smart. Uh, I have not tried it for the LG Smart TVs yet, but for those browsers, it only works for Windows. Basically, those, um, those browser extensions are just extensions in that they open up the main application. So you still have to have a Windows computer for it to work. But for those that know, you can have a... Um, you can actually have a, uh, a Mac with boot camp on it and you'll be able to, to like do a boot off of that or even use a virtual computer if need be. So th those are some other options. So let's go ahead and, and get into the, the gist of it. So uh, I already downloaded the VPN already. It does work. Uh, seems like it's pretty straightforward. Uh, there are not too many settings. You just basically download it and then you uh, sign up for it. Uh, real quick, I want to make a disclaimer. Um, I am an affiliate with Bright VPN. Uh, there's another program called EarnApp where basically uh, you'll be able to sell your internet traffic. For those that are interested, I'm gonna put a link in, in the description box on how to actually make some money by selling your uh, bandwidth, internet bandwidth. And um, I'm also gonna be putting a link to Bright VPN and that I'm an affiliate with them. If you wanna support the channel, you can sign up through the link. Um, it's completely free as I said, but I'll get a small commission every time that you sign up for it. And after the video, we'll get an idea of how well this works. All right, so first thing, first one that we're gonna do is for Turkey. And like I said, I'm, I'm gonna be cutting the video because I have to um, log back into my computer every time. So I'm gonna go to um, the, um, but first I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually log into my Microsoft account. And I'm going to show you that this code is region locked. So this message means that the, that the VPN is not connected to the right region. It says this code cannot be redeemed. It was purchased in a different region from your account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my right VPN application. I'm going to turn on my VPN and I'm going to go to Turkey. So Turkey is here. And once I get back into my computer, I'm going to try to redeem the code. And we'll see that it does indeed work in that the... Um, You'll be able to see that the code was used already. 
So let's go ahead and log back in to our Turkey region. And I'll come back. All right, so I'm back. I'm now connected to the Turkey server, as you see. And let's go And My internet's going to be a lot slower now. But let's go ahead and go into the... Um, the redeem.microsoft.com website. It's going to be a lot slower. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just show you the one and then I'm going to just show confirmation of the others. I don't want this video to be too, too long, but I just want to prove that um, this process does work for the aforementioned six regions that I've uh, displayed. Okay, so you see here that once I've logged into my Turkey server here, on my Turkish server that you now do see that the code has been redeemed so again the way of knowing that the VPN works is that you'll be able to see the the uh, status of the code so you see that this code has been redeemed and the previous message show where when I wasn't connected to the VPN it says that the code can't be redeemed okay so that's the first one so it looks like the Turkish server works so let's go ahead and go to our next one our next one's going to be the UK. And I'm going to come back with that one once it um, once it loads and once I, I can get back into my computer. All right, so I'm back. We're going to do UK now and we'll just confirm that we are connected to the UK. I'm going to hold off on that until I test all of them first. But we're now on the UK. So let's go ahead and Go to redeem.com website, microsoft.com website. And again, my internet's so slow because I'm, I'm doing a remote into one of my computers. I'm not actually on this main computer right now, the one that, that I'm displaying. Okay, so you'll see that this code was for the UK. And that one has been redeemed as well. So that means that the UK region does work. All right, so I'm back. We're now in Brazil. And for those that don't know, you can actually look at the IP addresses and you can put them in your computer and you'll know that that's actually the correct region. So we're going to go to the website again and we're going to put in this code and we're going to actually see if it works. So this code is for Brazil. So it looks like the Brazil region is not working for some reason. Let's try Yahoo and see. But it looks like the Brazil one's not working. For some reason. Which is odd. I just tested two Brazil codes that I know are not used and... Yeah, so the Brazil region is not working. Okay, so let's let's keep going. Let's do the one in, in um, Europe, and I'll be back. IP address looks to be right, but the just doesn't seem like it's working for Brazil. Okay, so I'm back. I'm now going to do Europe next. So Europe does work. You see that I'm connected to the Belgium uh, server. So Europe does work. So the next one's going to be Mexico. We're going to go to the redeem.microsoft.com website and we're going to redeem the Mexico code. So to confirm um, that is the Mexico code. And you see that it does appear. The status of the code appears. So Mexico server does work. Next one is going to be the U.S. And I'm doing this one because for those that are not located in the U.S., if you happen to get a U.S. code, for example, um, the euro and the, the, the pound sterling is actually worth more than a U.S. dollar. So you can actually leverage that and get U.S. codes for cheaper. If you need to redeem U.S. only codes, this will be a way of doing that. So I'm going to 
actually log into a US server here. And I'm going to have a different IP address than, than my native one. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to come back and I'm, we're going to redeem a, um, we're going to go ahead and do it for, for the US. And we're now in the US region. And I'm going to show you something real fast. I'm going to show you why this is important. We just did the, the region for, um, for Europe. I'm going to try the US again. And we're going to see that the Europe one is not going to work now. So you see that the Europe one doesn't work now. But I want to show you something else too. When I go to the US one and I try it, you'll see that it, it'll show up. But if I if I but the next one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna redeem the US code and the last region of Argentina, and I'm gonna show you that it's not gonna show up. So this is the US code located in the US. And my last one's gonna be Argentina. To confirm that the US code works, I'm gonna show you that once I go to Argentina and I redeem this code, I'm gonna redeem the, the, U, the US code first, show you that, that it's gonna be region locked. Then when I redeem Argentina, you're gonna see that, that it does work. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna come back. All right, so I'm back. So again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna redeem that US code again. And I'm going to show you that with me being in Argentina, that the server is not going to work now. And that that means that the U.S. code does work. So the U.S. server does work, I mean. So that, that's confirmation that the U.S. server works. You see it says the code cannot be redeemed. It was purchased in a different region from your account. That is the U.S. code connected to Argentina. So the U.S. server does work. So let's go to Argentina. Let's do this one lastly. And I'm already connected to it already. And I was having some issues with Argentina for some odd reason uh, initially. But it looks like BrightVPN loaded it up really well. Uh, there was a token description aborted message but it's not doing it now so uh everything's a go outside of brazil that's the only problem region that, that i've seen is brazil so the only one that doesn't work is brazil so for those that want to use it for turkey uk europe mexico us and argentina it's a go yeah so yeah the brazil server does not work that's the only one that does not work with Bright VPN. All the rest of them work besides that one. So you may want to try Urban VPN or another one if you plan on using Brazil codes. But for all the other regions that I showed, it's a go for Turkey, UK, Europe, Mexico, US, and Argentina. Again, uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. Hopefully it wasn't too long. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm probably going to cut out a lot of the fluff and a lot of the waiting and pausing on the video. To kind of make it uh, informative. If you found the video helpful, please be sure to leave a like, uh, leave a comment. Uh, thank you. Uh, if you want to sign up for VPN Unlimited or any of the other links in the description box, uh, I would really appreciate it. And uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Have a blessed day. You take care.